starting lineup? <laughs> uh, Steph, Moses, Gary, Kyle, Draymond. Oh, your tweet? You finished your tweet? <laughs> um, your message at practice for the guys was let it fly. In the last game against the Kings, there were 28 made threes. Do you feel a similar thing for this game? Let it fly? I mean, we, we told them to let it fly against the Clippers, too. And what were we? I don't know. Not that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, we want the mentality. Uh, of you know every night we want the mentality of uh, push it and transition play with pace um, if we space the floor well if we move the ball we're going to get a lot of threes and that's how we're trying to play what are you hoping to see with this group like what 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 was the combination that you like with this group of well I, I love Gary with Steph I mean uh, traditionally in their time together, they are um, one of our best two-man combinations. So I wanted to see what it looked like with Gary in the starting lineup. Um, and then uh, Moses has had a great camp, and I really wanted to uh, reward him for his play. Um, and obviously, he compliments those guys with his shooting. And then I think it's interesting just to see what it looks like with Kyle and Draymond together because of their playmaking ability and their and their defensive acumen. Um, so yeah, we're just you know taking a look. Do you, is there going to be a point you think like maybe late in the preseason where you want to decide this is my starters entering the season, or can you envision you know nightly in the regular season doing a little of what you're doing now, which is like I mean uh, you know I, th I think the everything got pushed back a little bit with Wiggs' absence um, because he factors into this. So we just have to kind of take it. Um, you know, game by game and uh, for now. But we want a starting lineup to form and to, to establish some continuity for sure. Coach Kerr, we, over the years, we always talk to you about uh, Buddy Hill and the shooting how you have him on your team. I just want to know, you know what's to make up you know, his place on this team. Because the other night, you pretty much showed that you're making six out of seven uh, trades. Yeah, he's uh, he's a, a big part of our team this year. We're lucky to have him. Um, he is uh, obviously um, one of the best shooters in the league, and um, and it's not just the percentage; it's the ability to make them in a lot of different ways. You saw it the other night: pin downs, ISOs, transition. Um, he's our best transition runner. I don't think anybody on our team runs the floor harder than Buddy, and it opens up a lot for other other people. And um, yeah, we um, we're, we're thrilled to have him. What do you think about his defense? His defense? He got back cut a couple times the other night, and we've that's one of the things we're harping on uh, with him, but with the whole team. Um, but he's better than um, advertised. I think he's um, he's he's got a good strong body. He's been in the league for a while. He's uh, he knows you know what's happening out there, and I think he's capable of being a, a very good defender. Catch the Sharks game last night by chance? I didn't go, but I I, I know what happened. I saw. Yeah. So what did cool. you What did you think? Just oh, that moment for Rick and Mac. Incredible, Mackin? incredible. Rick Rick got a couple of sweets for our play, some of our players, uh, his family members. Um, just an amazing night for for Rick and his family, and uh, yeah, it's so exciting. It's really cool. Steve, how would you uh, describe the early impact of your new assistant coaches? Um, they've been great. I mean, it's um, I'm excited about the, um, you know, the new energy, the the uh, the new blood. Um, but I'm also um, thrilled with the way the uh, the staff is uh, blending together. You know, we we have guys who are making some sacrifices too, as the, as the new guys come in and other guys have moved around, and and it's um, inspiring to see you know how um, everybody has unselfishly embraced. Uh, the, the staff changes. Another coaching question, but for the Valkyries, have you met Natalie Nakase before? She yeah. was was she in the coaching orbit when she was a Clippers assistant? How, do you know her? I think I met her um, in passing years ago when she was with the Clippers at a shoot around, but I've never really sat and talked with her. Um, saw her in the hallway yesterday, and uh, you know it was very very exciting. I mean that what they're building and um, the foundation they're putting together, and obviously Natalie is the next part of that, and. Uh, 
very impressive um, what the whole organization is is doing from sponsorship, um, you know, ticket reservations, um, their, their, you know, the facility in Oakland. It's uh, very impressive. It's gonna be fun. I just want to get your thoughts, Coach, on uh, you know Demar Derozan's uh, performance the other night. You know, he made all six shots, yeah. made a three, and made it both his free throws. So. Just want to get your thoughts about him playing with the Kings now. The great player, um, one of the best closers in the NBA. Um, I'm guessing he'll hit two or three buzzer beaters this year for the Kings because that's what he does. And um, yeah, Demar's always been, uh, you know, a, a big time player. So it's a great pickup for him. Thanks. Yep, we have our guest. Looks like it's going to be Buddy Heald. He's going to. Put on the headset and talk to us from downstairs. Buddy's got the headset on. Buddy, can you hear us? Yes, yeah, so sir. Yeah, look, look at this right one. Here, right here. Hey, there we go. Hey guys up there. DoorDash Radio. Yes, DoorDash Radio. There we in the go. booth. We in the booth. Oh, what a pro. What a pro. We, we in the booth. <laughs> so, what do you, at this point, first of all, you know, as I mentioned in Hawaii, welcome to the club and, and it's great to have you on board. In a preseason situation, you've been through this enough times. What do you try to work out? What are you looking for out of yourself in games like this? Oh, uh, yeah, work on habits, principles. Like I say, uh, knowing when the coaches want, uh, work on that, and I go back and watch film and see how I did and uh, and how can I correct myself to be better next game. You know, uh, we came up with no energy this, today. But, uh, you know, we figured it out. We tried to figure out a stone, but uh, they made two shots, and I feel like they get more 50-50 balls than us. And we got to do a better job boxing out and getting to the balls and uh, getting to the loose balls. And since our fan base is, is new to your game up close, give us an idea when you work on your shots say, after a practice, do you have a goal, a certain amount of makes or a certain amount of takes? No, just uh, until I feel comfortable. Uh, it can take two hours, take an hour and a half, 45 minutes, just until just, and then I feel comfortable on my shot and it feels good, I, I'll take my ass home. What have the coaches been preaching during uh, camp, buddy? A uh, hard play, uh, playing together, playing the right way, uh, being more aggressive on ball, doing the little things that matter for the, uh, that translate the Warriors winning basketball. I know one of the things that Steve talks about a lot is not fouling, moving the feet, don't foul. Right. How do you think you guys did tonight in that regard? Uh, I think I think we did bad. Yeah. Uh, I I think that uh, first half we put on the free throw line too much, and uh, they was able to set their defense. And, it's, and we want to play on transition and get good looks and uh, play together, you know. And uh, we didn't get that. We let them dictate them by putting them on the line. But uh, we got to be better. Uh, we figured out. You know, buddy, it's it's um, it's going to be, a, I think, a, a nice season for you guys. You guys got a lot of parts that 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 you, Steve Kerr can use in and out on different games, different nights. I think it's going to be a lot of fun this year. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Take it day by day. All right. Well, then. Uh, night get, by night. Get yourself <laughs> get yourself to the locker room. Yeah, Thanks, sir. buddy. Yeah, thank you, buddy. Bye. Buddy healed our guest. How great is his accent? Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> it's incredible.